Hello friends, today I want to explain you instruction set of 8051. But before actually explaining instruction set of 8051, I would like to explain addressing modes which I have already explained. But this is just to revise addressing modes of 8051. So we will see what exactly is addressing mode. Basically the CPU can access data in various ways. So data either can be in register, it can be an immediate value or it can be in the memory. So the various ways of accessing data are called as addressing modes. The second thing we can say about addressing mode is when microcontroller executes instructions, it performs some specific function on the or the operation on the data. Then this data must be stored, moved or copied to destination location from source location. So the ways by which these addresses locations are specified are called as addressing modes. So we will see different types of modes. There are four to five types of addressing modes of 8051. The first one is called direct addressing mode. The second one is called indirect addressing mode. The third one is called register addressing mode. Fourth one is register specific addressing mode. Then the next type is immediate addressing mode. And last one is external addressing mode. In external addressing modes, again there are two ways, code access and data access. So we will see all these types in detail. First one is called direct addressing mode. Now in this mode, the operand is specified by an 8-bit address field in the instruction. One can access all the 128 bytes of internal RAM and the SFRs directly. SFRs are nothing but special function registers. Using the single byte address that is assigned to each RAM location and each special function register. So only the internal data memory can be used in this mode. So if we will see example of this direct addressing mode, the first instruction is move A, 40H. So, because of this instruction, it will actually copy data from address 40H into register A, where A is destination and 40H is nothing but source. So, this is called direct addressing mode, where you are directly actually specifying the operand and you are copying the data from that operand to operand A. So, from destination from source to destination. The second addressing mode is nothing but indirect addressing mode. Now indirect in the indirect addressing mode, the instruction specifies a register which contains address of an operand. So register contains the source or the destination address. The register holds the actual address that will be used in the data move operation. This address may be 8 bit or 16 bit. The R0 and R1 of each register bank can be used as an index or pointer register. R0 and R1 point to the contents in the RAM. The, this particular sign at the rate sign is used or it, it is used to indicate the register which acts as pointer to memory location. Now we will see example of this kind of addressing mode move at the rate r0 comma a so the first instruction in which it copies the contents of accumulator to memory location whose address is specified in the register r0 of selected register bank so basically what this particular instruction is doing it is actually copying the contents of accumulator register memory location whose address is specified in R0 of selected register bank. The second instruction we will see move A comma at the rate R1. What this instruction is doing is cop it copies the contents of memory location whose address is specified in R1 register of selected bank to accumulator. So exactly opposite uh, operation it is performing. 
now we will see the third addressing mode that is register addressing mode now in register addressing mode we'll have to see that each register bank has r0 to r7 in total eight registers so to access these registers there are special instructions in the instruction opcode three bits are reserved for specifying one of the eight register from selected register bank for selecting the register bank the user has to modify two bits in psw psw is nothing but program status word so if we will see the example of register addressing mode move a comma r2 it is actually copying data from register r2 of the selected register bank to register a so this is the simplest addressing mode according to me next addressing mode is register specific addressing mode now in register specific addressing mode instruction refers to specific register such as accumulator or dptr that is data pointer so uh, we will see some examples of it the first one is daa so da is decimal adjust so this is for decimal adjust accumulator for addition the second one is rr space a so this is for rotating the contents of accumulator to the right so rotate right is the instruction and we are specifying the operand as accumulator next instruction is swap a which uses register specific addressing mode so swap a it swaps the nibbles within the accumulator and last one is div ab it divides the numbers in accumulator and b register now we will move to the next instruction which is immediate addressing mode in this immediate addressing mode the data is provided in the instruction itself the data is provided immediately after the opcode you will see the examples and you will get to know how it is to be done we will see some of the example first example is move a comma hash 30h so it actually copies 30h immediately to the accumulator register as this is source and this is destination it copies 30h into a second one is move p1 comma 0 fff so it copies that fff immediately to port 1 last one is move dptr 1234h so it copies 1234h immediately to the data pointer dptr is nothing but data pointer now last addressing mode is nothing but external addressing mode using these instructions only external program memory can be accessed i told you that there are two types of external addressing mode first one is code access and the other one is data access so we will talk about code access in code access using these instructions only external program memory can be accessed this addressing mode is preferred for reading lookup tables in the program memory either be dptr or pc pc is nothing but program counter can be used as pointer so we will see one example of it move c a comma at the rate a plus dptr this instruction will load the accumulator with the byte from program memory the byte from the program memory is fetched from the sum of unsigned 8 bit accumulator contents and contents of the dptr next type is data access in data access using this addressing mode the programmer can access external data memory where in code access programmer can access external program memory here the instruction is able to access external data memory so again dptr or pc can be used as pointer we'll see one example of it move x at the rate r0 comma a this instruction will copy the data from accumulator to the external memory location whose address is given by register r0 so using register r0 or r1 the programmer can access external data memory from location 00h to fff to access the memory beyond this dptr is used so these are various kinds of addressing modes of at51 now after studying addressing modes we can now study instruction set of 8051 so i will explain 
uh, instruction set of 8051 in my next video. Thank you so much.